Well, to those uh, realtor friends out here and so on that Cheryl will be serving this coming year as president, I think what you can look from Cheryl, uh, expect, is somebody that really is dedicated to the job, that will continue to do the task at hand. Um, they will definitely have someone on their side, uh, someone that they can go to for support and a good sounding board. I think the realtors in the state of Indiana can expect quiet leadership. She's not going to do anything that makes herself better off without making everyone else better off also. A very fair, open-minded person that will take every person's opinion into um, perspective. I think Cheryl will bring to the presidency a dedication and leadership that will be one that you will remember for a long time. Absolutely a wonderful ambassador for your profession. Um, hold on because she's going to bring vision, she's going to bring drive, she's going to make realtors push harder to do their job better. To describe Cheryl first of all would be what she would most want everyone to know about her is she is a Christian. Yeah that's well said and I would add that she has always put God and family first. She is energetic, conscientious, and independent. Another one would be successful. Cheryl and, uh, has developed a, a very, very strong company here in Seymour and in Columbus. And she is truly uh, what I would say, not just because I know she's listening to this tape right now, but she really does have a servant attitude. And she is organized. Meticulous. And a heck of a leader. And very classy. It, I would be hard pressed to describe Cheryl in just a few words. Um, she's just a great, delightful, brave person. When Cheryl opened the, uh, our office in uh, 1986, which is 30 years ago, we celebrated our anniversary this past year. It was just her and one other person, a realtor, that had come uh, to be involved with her company. And it was in a little nine by 10 office, nothing of any fanfare and opening, but what she did realize, I think shortly, uh, being there that she needed help uh, to really become successful and she wanted to be successful as a broker. So she felt that one of the good ways to do that was to become involved with things like the Indiana Association of Realtors. It's, it's difficult to go down the road and get the information you need to be successful from your competitors, but coming to state events and functions, she was able to talk to a lot of very successful people, realtors and brokers, and from that she learned a lot. And also she felt it was very important to be involved in her local community, the local boards. And she did do that serving, I think taught her a lot of things too. And, and she served twice as uh, president of the Jackson County Board of Realtors and twice as uh, president of the Columbus Board of Realtors. Uh, she was on the Chamber of Commerce Board. Uh, they've been really involved in our hospital foundation. Cheryl served um, with me on the Community Foundation of Jackson County's Board of Directors. And um, they have, uh, their company and their, their family has been deeply involved in economic development initiatives uh, and serve on the board of directors with me on that as well. When we talk about, you know, economic development, uh, we talk about having, you know, great partners. And it's very, very important that we have partners uh, in all aspects, uh, including uh, real estate. And Cheryl and her staff have been, you know, very, very key uh, partners in the success that uh, we've been able to have in uh, Seymour and throughout Jackson County. Um, they've just been a great partner for the city. They've helped us clean up abandoned homes. They've helped us move homes that we've had trouble getting buyers for. They've just done a remarkable job being players in the community to help make the community a better place to live. Cheryl and I spent many years together on the Red Cross Board of Jackson County. Um, she was an excellent board member. Uh, Cheryl always was a, such a caring person and we wanted to do the right thing. Uh, she followed through on so many things and really made a difference. No matter where I go or where I'm at, people I talk to, as soon as I say who my parents are, and I mention my dad and my mom, as soon as I say Cheryl, they instantly light up with a smile and go, oh Cheryl, we love her. Lon and Cheryl, uh, you really can't, uh, you can't say one without the other. We have five lovely grandchildren and she, if she had her way, she would be spending every moment with those five grandkids. Well, she's an amazing mom. Um, she has always been very well balanced. 
Um, I don't really have a memory of her not working, not involved in something. And raising kids of my own, I'm starting to realize just how hard that has been for her through the years. And she knows how to take people with her and care about them and make them part of it. I think you will be um, a wonderful example, a wonderful leader, and we're very excited for you and wish you lots of success in 2017, and we love you. You've always been an inspiration, and this right here truly shows us what hard work and dedication can do, and uh, we're all better for knowing you. Cheryl, we wish you the best of luck in this great, exciting role for you in 2017. On behalf of the City of Seymour, we are truly honored to be here saying good luck. From Seymour and Jackson County, we wish you the very best. We know you'll do great. I know what a great job you're going to do. Uh, you're a wonderful ambassador your profession, and I, I know you're going to represent that organization very, very well. And you know, I can't do this without crying, but I do love you, and you will have a wonderful, wonderful year in 2017. Just be yourself, and the state will love you. Congratulations. We're so proud and just know that your kids and myself, we're proud of you, we love you, and we hope you'll have a very enjoyable year as president of the Association of Realtors.